Welcome back, my name is Max. Today we're gonna to be checking out some more BTS. If you haven't been with me for a while on my YouTube channel, I've been living in Costa Rica for the past month, so you can enjoy the background as well. I'm enjoying the heat. Today we're gonna to be checking out BTS reacts to BTS debut, so it's kind of a fun video. I'm reacting to BTS, reacting to themselves, and on my Patreon page, I actually checked out their debut performance, plus like a really short interview. So I'm somewhat familiar with them back then. Either way, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> this is a real trip watching these boys react to themselves from what was the seven years prior to this video. It's really funny watching that. I mean, a reaction video to a reaction video going on over here, but you love seeing the boys and, you know, it's fun just watching them have fun. Like, they all seem super engaged, like RM just seems happy as hell. And, you know, Jin's watching intently, Jimin's watching intently. You know, they're all very curious to see themselves. I wonder if they've actually, behind behind the scenes, without the video camera on them, I do wonder if they watch their old performances. But it's cool that we get to see this here. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to watch yourself when you're younger, you know? It's even hard for me to watch a video that I reacted to like from six months ago. I can barely watch it. So I can imagine how these guys feel. J-Hope having a hard time looking at himself. So I actually did, like I said, watch their debut performance and I really enjoyed it. And I think what I said to describe it was they just seemed a lot more edgy back then. I forget what it was exactly, but it made me think like these guys from the get-go were going against the grain. You know, they weren't following the traditional path of K-pop. So, you know, I think what it seems like, it's like they've stayed true to those roots to an extent, although their personas have changed and they don't seem quite as edgy, you know, their, their values of being true to who they are and sort of being yourself and carving your own path have remained intact. They've remained the same. Oh, yo, man. Oh, yo, RM. RM being the analytical type, right? RM. We talk about his awareness all the time. Of course, he's going to be somewhat critical of himself. He said he's really wound up tight. And uh, it's true, right? He did seem a little... Um, a little, I guess, more rigid back then, not as relaxed, not as composed as he is now. <laughs> yeah, Jungkook's really, really transformed, hasn't he? Sugar, though, right, he seems like more of like a brown noser, go-getter, where it's like he's the opposite now. It's like he almost couldn't really give a crap what people think about him. And, you know, I've talked about how just genuine and authentic he is. It's like he's not trying at all to please anyone. You know, and that's why I really gravitate towards Sugar and admire Sugar is because of that. It's like... Man, he just doesn't feel like he's putting on an act at all. Yeah, V looked completely different too, huh? Uh, 
Are you guys watching their reactions or are you watching the smaller video of when they were younger? I'm going back and forth. I'm trying to look at their reactions as well as the video. Fun to watch this. It is fun to watch this. And now I get where Rap Monster comes from, right? Like before it's like RM, Rap Monster. You know, you see it, he's a rapper. He's obviously very talented, but the whole persona, the whole image of Rap Monster, it makes a lot of sense looking at RM back in the day. I love I just noticed this right now they have all the names on their shirts I just realized that right now that's how fresh they were and look at them reacting right they're all leaned in they're all super interested V's been quite quiet but they're all just like actively engaged in watching themselves and they seem to really genuinely be getting a kick out of it especially J-Hope right J-Hope's a he can be really excitable. He gets excited quite easily at times, and he shows it. Like it's obvious when Jay Hope's excited. <laughs> Look at him, right? And I mentioned this about Jay Hope. Like he really makes an effort to like individually connect with the other guys. And these guys are brothers, and they all have their own individual close dynamics. It's just more obvious when Jay Hope does it. He points people out individually and he brings them into his world of fun. And that's what he's doing here with some of these guys. And he does it all the time. J-Hope can't take it. J-Hope can't take watching himself. Like RM's cringing. This is funny. It's funny to see who can't watch and who's cringing. Like Jin doesn't care. Jin's like into it. He's like, I'm enjoying this. Some of the other guys are really cringing. <laughs> yeah, see? See how excited J-Hope's getting? And he's like bringing people into the fun. Again, that's why it would be so much fun to be J-Hope's friend. When J-Hope's excited, it's like he gets you excited. We talked about his magnetic energy and I really like watching J-Hope communicate and I'm starting to appreciate it more and more. Just fun always watching these boys communicate with each other, isn't it? Obviously, I've talked about their dynamic and how close they are quite often, but it just never ceases to amaze me how well they listen to each other, how much they care about each other. You know, if you go back here, Jimin starts speaking and they're all immediately listening to him. Obviously, I'm sure they have their disagreements, but from what I've seen, they really give each other the time of day. RM speaking, you know, then you see Jungkook's really a great listener, actually. And so is J-Hope. They all are. They all are. You know, V can be in and out. Sometimes it's hard to tell when V's listening. A lot of the time he probably is listening. He's just not looking. He's not showing those obvious active listening signs. Uh, whereas a guy like Jungkook really does. And I think Suga over the years, from what I've seen, he's improved his active listening skills. I think before it seemed like he was a little more in his head. You know, maybe he was listening sort of like V, but he wasn't always showing it. Now he's actively showing it. I think it's important to show those signs to people just in terms of connecting with them and making them feel good, like I said. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
차하죠. 아, 네. 사실 뭐뭐 뭐 과거 영상을 보고 뭐 여러 가지 생각이 들수 있지만 저희는 지금 지금이 너무 좋아서 네, 네 지금을 더 좋아하겠습니다. 네, 지금을 음. 사랑하고 저희 지금 한번 인사 한번 해볼까요? 네. 지금 저저 어, 그러니까. 각을 살려서 해야 된다고. 네, 네, 아니, 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 아니요 아니요. 네, 각을 살. This is fun. I hope they do the whatever it is that they're about to do. The greeting. That's really funny. A throwback. 세븐 로커스 한번 한번 해주시죠. 자 인사하겠습니다. 둘셋팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝팝